picture this. Okay. A young man with a fiery spirit mm -hmm. and a frenetic personality. Mm -hmm. During his early years, some might have thought he was on the road to a career perhaps in stand-up, really? but he was actually on a collision course with destiny. Wow, when he crossed this. paths with a teacher who helped him navigate his way to professional success. Take a look. <laughs> As a youngster growing up in South Florida, you got to imagine it was hard to concentrate on school. If you find pictures of me with my terrible uh, homemade haircuts that my dad gave me, uh, I, I went to school with a smile on my face all the time. I just wanted to be outside, I wanted to play, I wanted to be around other people, but as I grew up, I became a little bit more of the class clown. But I think they realized that my sense of humor was not anything mean or intrusive to the classroom. I wasn't disruptive. Uh, I, I just, I just, I had an imagination that just needed to be unleashed. Miss McAloon was kind of a 70s lady, so she wasn't afraid to kind of do a little strut in the classroom. She was a, a cool dresser, and I, I may have had a little crush on her, I'm not gonna lie. She was my seventh grade. It was kind of a math slash science teacher. She handled both ends of things. She still allowed that personality side of me, that imagination to grow. We had levels in the school I was at, so if you progressed to the PQ level, that's where the smarter kids were. And I was just on the border, and she said, don't worry, we're gonna get you there. And when she handed me that test, I mean, there was a tear in my eye. It was my first 100, and that was in seventh grade. That was pre-algebra at that time. Once I got into the broadcasting industry back in 1989 and started doing traffic reports, it was that personality, it was my ability to relate with other people that really allowed me to flourish in the industry. She had a big hand in that. Wow. I love that. That's amazing. It's been a long road, and I, 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 to this day, I'll never forget those horrible haircuts. Oh, would you stop? My I, father just would give no. us our home haircuts and was just never good with the scissors. No, my grandmother did too. <laughs> I had a bowl cut, and hello, I'm oh, a girl. Uh, <laughs> I we didn't like, even have bowls. Oh, yeah, that was it. He just, he freehanded, yes. Yeah, yeah. I could tell a little bit, no. Oh, um, wow. I mean, what an inspiration. Yeah. I, I love that you said, you know, she uh, she really pushed you and, and really believed in you, and I I think that's, of course, the resounding theme here, um, that, that really when maybe perhaps we don't believe in ourselves, these teachers, uh, they see something in us that really makes us rise to the top. She knew I was bursting at the seams with imagination, so we would get these plays that were given to us by a, a, you know, a company, you know, the little weekly readers yeah. and stuff, and I would say, well, I'm going to make a sequel to the play we read last week, so I would write up plays, and then I would, you remember the old machine? Yes, and crank and out the, crank out the yeah, yeah. And, I would, and, and we would have a sequel to the play, or one time she handed me a 900-page science book, and I said, whoa, that's too much for me. She goes, no, I want you to flip the pages and make a little movie out of it. And I made a little flip movie of two little guys just beating each other up the whole time. It was and just... here he is today, folks. How lucky are we? Thank that you. was that incredible. Was